Good morning, everybody. We are tarped, ready to go. This lumber that's underneath this tarp is going down to Brainerd, Minnesota. Once again, there is a winter storm warning in effect right now down there. It is snowing here a little bit already, but by the time I get down there, the winter storm warning is supposed to be gone and the storm is supposed to be mostly blown over by the time I get there. So I hope I'm not driving right into it. Because <laughs> right now it kind of feels like I am. But, uh, you know, at least our lumber is safe under here. I get comments all the time about why do you tarp lumber? They just leave it outside. Well, especially in this season, you don't want all the salt and road grime on that lumber. That's like finishing lumber for special projects. It's not just like two by fours for building a tree house in your backyard. It's, it's highly manufactured and you don't want it to get all dirty because it's going to probably be used in, uh, you know, interiors of houses and buildings and businesses. And I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want a whole bunch of salt and road grime and dirt in the inside of my house, under my carpets and in my walls and, you know, in my kitchen, in the cabinets. I don't know what they use this all for, but it is, it's special lumber. It's like, it's a special tarp. But in the end, it doesn't matter. We don't ask questions. If they ask us to tarp it, we tarp it. And especially when they give us this nice, big tarping like, area, this huge buildings just for us to tarp. You can tarp two trucks at the same time. There's only one crane, but yeah, that crane lifts it over. I've shown you before. All right. They give us all the tools we need to, like ladders to get up on there. We're not allowed to get up on our trailers or on the load here. We have to stay on the ground, but they give us all the tools and everything we need to get the job done. And it's actually pretty easy.
Another one of my co-workers is here parked beside me. We're at the Walmart in Fort Francis, Ontario. Waiting on our customs broker. Who's dragging their feet. Are you surprised? <laughs> no one's surprised. Sent in the paperwork uh, three hours ago. And I'm usually clear by the time I get here. So I got to give credit to them for that. It's usually pretty quick. But I got here to Fort Francis, ready to cross the border into uh, International Falls, Minnesota. And for those of you who don't drive truck or don't do cross border, before I can cross the border, I have to have all of my paperwork cleared at customs. If you show up there without being cleared first, you get a fine. The company gets a fine and you get, it's a big hassle. They got to send you back. You got to get new paperwork, get re-cleared. It's, it's a big mess. So before you get there, you got to make sure you get confirmation that you're cleared to cross. They need to know what's coming in, who's coming in, where it's going, where it's coming from, all that stuff. And our, we have customs brokers that take care of this for us. So what I do is I send the paperwork in that I get from the shipper to the office, to my dispatch. Uh, the load gods. And they take that paperwork and, and they take care of all those headaches for me. Thanks very much, guys. You guys are great. They take care of all those headaches for me. And they send it in. <clears throat> And usually uh, I get a confirmation from them that I'm clear uh, before I even get here. Today, it's a little bit slower. And talking to my coworker Mike here beside me, uh, apparently this has happened to him more than once already. Last time he had to wait five hours here at Walmart. And uh, in the last couple of weeks, our customs broker, you all know who it is, uh, has been having technical difficulties. And uh, it's been very hard to get our loads cleared. It's slowed down everything. It's like the biggest broker in Canada. And uh, <clears throat> and the U.S. And <laughs> everybody's backed up. That's probably why I'm not cleared yet. But anyways, I got here. And so I, I phoned dispatch and say, hey, I'm in Fort Francis. I haven't heard any confirmation yet. You know, <laughs> what's going on? Am I, am I good to cross? I don't want to get in trouble here and show up to the border when I'm not right when they're not ready for me. And so he tells me, uh, you know, just keep Keep your eyes on the tracker app. We have a tracker app that'll tell you when you're clear and give them a call. So I, I went to the tracker app and I punched in my PAPS number and it says, shipment not found. No file has been created. I'm like, what do you mean no file has been created? I sent it to you like three hours ago. Okay, so I called him and I asked him, hey, this is Trucker Josh. I didn't say that. I said, hey, uh, this is my PAPS number. What's going on? They hadn't even started on it yet. It was obviously, it sounded like they had forgotten about it or it was on the bottom of the pile. And I said, well, I'm, I'm here at the border. I, I need to cross as soon as possible. And so they said they put it in priority, which just means that uh, they acknowledge that I'm in a hurry and need to get it done quick, quickly. But it's probably not going to be done any quicker, but it makes, it's supposed to make me feel better, like I'm special. Meanwhile, I know I'm not special because there's a whole bunch of other drivers that are also trying to cross the border right now who are just as special as me. But, you know, I got to hats off to them for trying to make me feel special, at least. But uh, so they hadn't even started yet. And so far, I've, I've been checking. They haven't started even now. And I've only been here, what? I haven't been here that long. I'm not complaining yet. We're getting to that. I've only been here a half hour. Uh, Mike beside me here, he's been here for uh, oh, at least a couple of hours already, and he's been waiting longer than me, so I assume he would be cleared first. Uh, let's go to our tracker app here again. Right? And what I do is I punch in, uh, I can just scan the barcode, actually. I've already got it in here. I'm going to search for it, search for it. No file has been created. They still haven't even started on it. I have to cross tonight. I have to get there tomorrow. Again, just like last week, they close down receiving at noon tomorrow. And if I don't get there by noon, I'm not getting unloaded this weekend. And I'm not working on Monday either because I have appointments on Monday. So I'm in a little bit of a kerfuffle here if the customs broker doesn't pull through for me. And I can't get there. Because if I can't get there by tomorrow, well, I either sit here at Walmart all weekend and miss a Christmas gathering and all of our other appointments, which is unacceptable. That's not going to happen. So what is going to happen is if they don't get me clear by tomorrow in time for me to get down there and unloaded, I've got to go all the way back home again. All the way back home. And that's like 400 kilometers, four hours of driving at least, at least. <coughs> that uh, 
we would have to fight for downtime then, uh, for detention time. When it comes to pay, again, that's a headache that's not mine. I don't have to deal with that. But I don't get paid extra for driving an extra 400 kilometers back home and then deliver this next week. That comes out of my pocket. So I wouldn't be very happy. But at the same time, there's no way I'm going to miss a Christmas gathering. And uh, what do we have up on Monday again? We have something important up on Monday. I just know i got to be home for it. Oh, I'm going to feel silly when I think of it now because it's something important and I should remember it. Oh, yeah, we're getting that window installed in our house. That's right. Uh, one of our windows in our house got cracked. Uh, it was like that when we bought it and we're just fixing it now. It hasn't been that bad. I can show you it when I get back home, but you know, we're just replacing it finally now and we're doing some painting in the house. Sunday, I'm going to be painting uh, the nursery, getting ready for baby to show up in three months. So we got plans this weekend, and I'm not going to sit here in Fort Francis at Walmart all weekend. I got stuff to do. So let's uh, keep our fingers crossed, keep our toes crossed, keep everything else we, <coughs> we possibly can crossed. <coughs> Excuse me. Still trying to get rid of this cough. It's getting better, though. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Depending on whether or not I'm cleared or not, I may or may not be in a better or worse mood. All right, we are clear. We had, how long have I been here? Four hours and 12 minutes. Four hour delay. Just gonna make sure that I have enough hours on my US hours of service. Available driving, six hours, 27 minutes. And I'm 300 kilometers away, or no, 400, right? 400, but four hours away. That should be plenty of time. We can get down there tonight yet. Well, that was inconvenient. All right. We got to the time. It's a good thing we slept in Kenora. Should get there around midnight. Oh, if I'm not stuck here. Oh boy. Back up a bit. Trick Josh stuck? Ha <laughs> ha! Not today! I actually want to quickly clean these mirrors. Ah, oh, I can never get going. There's always one more thing to do. Right? There's one more thing to do. One more thing. Just, just one more thing to do. One more thing. One more. One more. Just clean these mirrors off here. Yeah. My bull snot. There it is. This can's a little beat up. It's my road can. Okay. It'll be dirty in five minutes again. I'm just gonna use the same bull snot that's on this rag now. Five minutes. Turn that mirror heat on. Okie dokie. No more one thing. No one more thing. None. Let's go. I want to work. I want to make the money. snowing a little bit here again. Hopefully that doesn't get worse. Oh, what a day. What a day. So once they started working on my paperwork, it gets entered into the system. And uh, I can see it on my tracker app, right? So by the time they started working on it to the time I was cleared, it was only about like 45 minutes, maybe an hour. So I don't know what uh, took so long, but they say that they were backed up. That was a cop. I really don't want to hit him with my trailer. I think that was a cop. 
No, just an SUV that looks like a cop. Those should be illegal. You're no cop, you sit on a throne of lies. Make sure I'm just warming up my feet and not the windshield. I'm gonna roll down my window so I cool off my windshield so all this snow just bounces off and doesn't stick to it. And yeah, it'll be a, a dark ride down, so uh, I'll probably talk to you when we get down there, unless there's anything uh, or something interesting along the way. The border is just around the corner, like right over there, so it won't take long. are already still getting dirty. So they're just drying off now. Better than they were though. Better than they were. <coughs> that was a cop. That was a cop. See, exact same vehicle as the other one, except this was a real one. Sneaky, sneaky. Looks like International Falls, Minnesota is all lit up for the holidays. Chainsaw, obviously, that's just cut 
the trees in half and just cleared enough room for a, a big traffic to get through. Like, look at it on the sides. Is the, uh, is the camera picking it up? All these trees just sagging under the weight of all the snow. Yikes. In one kilometer, turn left on and then six. We definitely missed the storm. That's good, let's hope it doesn't start back up again. But it is a winter wonderland here. The camera will not do it justice at night. Even though this GoPro has really good low light capabilities, there's just nothing that can substitute for seeing it with your own eyes. It's beautiful. It's like a very heavy snow. Right in time for Christmas, right? Because that's that is important to me. You gotta have a white Christmas. It's not Ooh, there's a bunch of trees that fell over again. We made it. That's the gate right there. Gonna open tomorrow morning, 6.30 a.m. They start at seven. And we'll get unloaded as soon as we can. I'm gonna keep this short and simple. At the end of my day, I'm really tired. It's been a long day again. Four and a half hours of it wasted, waiting. But uh, it was an adventure. You know, I was kind of thinking maybe it's a good thing that I had to wait four and a half hours because uh, because I did that, I think I missed uh, the brunt of the storm that went through here. There's a lot of snow everywhere, and I know it came down today. And uh, uh, because I was later than I thought I would be, I didn't have to deal with all of it falling. And most of it had been cleared off the roads already by the time I got here. So, it's probably a blessing in disguise. So... Not every bad thing that happens is a bad thing. We'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. If you want to learn more about me, down below in the description of every single video, all the information you need to know about me. Uh, we got our PO address there. Uh, we have uh, you know, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all those links down below where I get my music, everything. Down below every video. Go check it out and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow.